Hello every single one of you beautiful people out there. My name is Tareth and today I'll show you how to create fast gaming thumbnails for your gaming videos. It's, it's very important to have a nice looking gaming thumbnail. So uh, I'm going to show you today how to look, how to create one really fast. And it looks very good. It looks very nice. What you have to do is follow me and follow what I'm doing. I know my things are in Danish, but I'll try and convert it over to, to your language. Well, to English, so everybody can understand it. And uh, yeah, let's get started with the video. So what you want to do now is you want to go up to files. You're going to press new. Inside of the inside of here, you're going to do 1280 by 720 and 100% and press OK. All right, go find a very nice looking thumbnail. I found mine right here on Google. Press on copy and press Control V. Then press Control T and hold shift while dragging it so we can do it here like this i know it's going very very fast guys but just because i want to i want you guys to to be able to create them fast you know and i know how much you hate sitting and just listening to someone talk so let's just let's 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 uh press enter do this P press enter <laughs> all right so what we want to do now is we want to copy this layer two times so what we want to do now is we want to grab this right here and put it on top of this one and I want to take this copy as well and put it on top of that one so now we got two copies on the top layer we're gonna go to filter we're gonna go to blur and we're gonna go to Gaussian blur 4% press ok now press E for uh, for an eraser and put it at 400% and remove the remove the, the inner the inner well the inner thing now go to the second one right here the middle one go to filter go to blur blur and go to motion blur and it's the exact same setting as you saw there press on e again and remove the middle one okay now we have a nice looking outer edge looking picture so what we're going to do now is we're going to press on here and we're going to copy well not copy but take all these three and let's create a folder for it so we have a little bit of organized content here and i'm going to call it for background all right so that was easy so what we're going to do now is we're going to find something that can help us you know so let's go to fortnite go fortnite png let's find something so what do you guys like i'm pretty sure you like everything that's in this but let's see if we can manage to find ourselves something that looks a little bit better so let's take her for an example don't just copy it off here press on her let's get into the website and download this file right here There we go take it put it inside of the program we're gonna put it to the side press ok and there we go now she's right there so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna double click on her we're gonna give her a shadow there we go play around with these settings in here to whatever you think you whatever to what you think is is very nice looking okay and give it an outer glow now let's give her a glow that looks to something like the background. So we're gonna give her a pink glow. Now you can play around with the settings here as well. I like to keep mine minimized. Well, not minimized, but it's just around what kind of looks good. Now she looks good. Let us press on the next one. So what we're gonna do now is text. Inside of text, you want something very nice looking. So. I'm gonna make mine awesome right here. So now it says awesome. Double click on it, give it a shadow. Play around with the settings inside a shadow so you think it looks good. Give it a gradient. Oh, give it a gradient here. Give it a nice gradient. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make this all white. And the other one, I'm gonna make a little bit more gray. There we are. Press on OK. And I'm gonna make this one. If we can scale it so it looks a little bit better. Here we go. So now the scaling looks pretty good. Now let's give it a outer glow as well. But this one too much. It's a little bit too much. So let's just take it down just a tiny bit. Let's see about this one right here. There we go. All right, let's go back to our shadow. Play around with the shadows a little bit. There 
we go. There we are. Awesome. So now we have some nice looking text. So what we can do with this is we wanna is we wanna take the text and we wanna copy the text. We're gonna grab the text and put it down under. We're gonna go into the text tool and give it a new name. Or give it some little text. Awesome. Gaming. And one more time, copy it and paste it. Drag it down, give it another name, thumbnail. Okay, here we are. Awesome gaming thumbnail. Now, this right here may look a little bit, a little bit dull. What we can do is we can give it some other colors. We can, we can do some, we can do some different things with it. So let us take the gaming one and change the color of that. But we need something that look that we need something that looks good. And to make it look good can be a very, very, very hard thing to do. So let's press on it. And let's give it some other colors. So now let's pay attention to what it looks like. Alright, so we gave it a bright pink right here. Oh. And here. Let's create something else. Let's just drag it around to see what kind of looks good. Awesome gaming. Okay. This is starting to fill. Okay, so let's try this, but let me try and do something. So you can do scaling and you can make it, as you can see, it's very sharp now. You can make it kind of like scale out so it looks a little bit better. Now let me go into it again and let me try and change it up just a tiny bit. Now. One thing we need to do, which I think is, is very nice, is that we can go here on Google and we can go to borders. I actually already wrote it down here and we need to find ourselves a good border. We need a thin border and we need a good looking border. This border right here is, is perfect. So if you guys can find this right here, I'm going to probably see if I can uh, link it in the description and uh, we need to find it. It's right here. We need to download that. And we'll wait 15 seconds. Open this and take the transparent file. And drag it into this one right here. So here we are. Drag it to the edge. And the edge right there. And here it is. So this might not look good and it doesn't matter what color it is. Because one thing we can do is that we can do something with our shadow. So give it a shadow. Boom. All right, so we're gonna fix the shadow first. So it's too bright, it's too uh, it's too much there. So we're gonna take this down a little bit. And we can change the things here. And we can give it some things. All right, so this looks pretty good. All right, another thing we can do is give it a gradient. Now, we already made this text gradient and it already took this gradient from the text that we made and i actually kind of like that so i think we'll just keep it that way we can give it an outer glow as well to make it pop more let's make it a little bit so we still can see the shadow and here we are guys this right here is gonna grab a lot of people's attention but we're still not done yet because if you really want to grab people's attention there's one thing we need. Let me show you what it is. So remember the backgrounds we made. Well, inside of here, let's create another layer. Go to your brush tool, B. Give it a big size, like a very big size. Now take color, take some color. Doesn't matter what color it is. And just do this. All over the place doesn't matter don't be scared just pop in colors where you feel like pop in colors pop in colors okay so now we have something nice looking you might think what the hell are you doing Tareth? look at this look at this click on your player go to these, these types up here go to divide bam now this may look like really whoa what's going on here well go to opacity 
and put it down to 75%. You can go further down if you want to. But 75% is probably the best thing that I would do. Now, the reason that you need to do this is because you need to make your thumbnails pop a lot. The reason that you need to make your thumbnails pop is because the people need to see them. So when I say awesome gaming thumbnail, well, because of the background, because of the colors, everything's going to grab people's attention to look at my video instead of other people's video. And that is also probably the reason as to why you clicked on my video was because of the thumbnail. Because then you read the thumbnail, or you see the thumbnail, and then you read the text under it. Guys, I hope you have it all right even though the circumstances with the coronavirus is all over the place right now take care don't forget to like subscribe comment and uh, yeah i hope you guys are having a wonderful 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 time thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to like comment subscribe as i just said and have a great one